The Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell will get those wheels in motion. He sets up a vote that would be procedural in effect, but it would strip the health care law with a simple majority vote from the GOP. Mike Pence saying that that is just where they're going to start. We'll focus on repealing and replacing Obamacare. Uh, we'll look forward to legislation that will give us the, uh, the tools to roll back the avalanche of red tape and regulation that have been stifling American jobs and growth. Uh, but the president-elect uh, has a very clear message to Capitol Hill, and that is uh, it's time to get to work, and it's, uh, it's time to uh, keep our word to the American people. Mike Pence on his way to the Hill this morning. Chief Congressional Correspondent Mike Emanuel, they're all ready for us today. So, Mike, what are the expectations for this visit today from the Vice President-elect? Martha, good morning. Up first, Vice President-elect Mike Pence is expected to rally House Republicans on repealing Obamacare, something many of these Republicans, of course, ran on during the campaign. The Vice President-elect is going to have a variety of meetings here on Capitol Hill today, starting first on the House side. He's also expected to join Republican senators later today for their weekly luncheon. Again, the central focus of these meetings, we are told, is getting rid of the president's health care law. Mike Pence is well known here on Capitol Hill after serving 12 years as a House Republican, still has many relationships. The difference, of course, this time with this visit is he's got a whole lot of newly elected Republican members of Congress who campaigned on getting rid of the health care law. And so bottom line, he's going to fire them up, get them ready. These folks who are getting ready to get cracking on the Republican agenda. Martha? Yeah, he is playing his role in a big way as somebody who spent a lot of time there, as you say, Mike. So as for repealing Obamacare, Republicans pulling this in some ways from the Democratic playbook, right? There is no question about that. When Democrats passed Obamacare back in 2010, they did it just with Democrats' support. So Republicans are looking to scrap it the very same way. There were complaints back in 2010 that when you're reworking something as massive as the nation's health care system, there should have been some efforts to get Republican buy-in, to get Republican input into doing such a massive thing. It did not happen. And so when you're looking at... Uh, Republicans taking all the levers of power here in Washington, from the White House to the Senate to the House, uh, they're looking to do it the very same way with a budget resolution that will only need a simple majority in the Senate and the House to pass. And so Republicans are looking to get rid of Obamacare in a hurry in the next week or so, and they're going to take that right out of the Democratic playbook from 2010. Right. Martha? What a difference an election makes. Mike, thank you.